is an art attack? This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> of pens and pencils and bits and pieces lying all over your shelves or your desk you know what you need a rubbish cupboard here's the rubbish and here is the cupboard come and have a look at this take a cardboard box as big as you can find and pull the top flap up on one side like that and the bottom flap out like that cut the whole of this side out and you'll have something that looks like that now you could use that to make a little cupboard but let's not mess around here. Let's go for the big one. Take the rest of the cardboard box and open it out flat like this. Now, this part will be the cupboard, and these two flaps will be your cupboard doors. Now, to fill the cupboard, just take some assorted boxes and cartons that you're going to throw out in the rubbish and just lay them into position on your cupboard. First of all, onto what will be the bottom shelf, uh, like that. And it's a good idea to use different types of cartons and boxes, different sizes, because you're going to be putting different things into your rubbish cupboard. And then do the top shelf, just putting them into position where you think the top shelf is going to be. And you notice here, I've just neatly trimmed the edges of the boxes, like that, so I can get things into them without hurting my fingers. And don't forget, if you're going to use plastic bottles, wash them out, otherwise they'll really pong. Now, when you've got your top shelf into position and you're happy with it, just draw a line underneath the boxes, like that, just to show you the position of your top shelf. And then move your boxes off your cupboard, top and bottom, and then put the rest of the detail of your cupboard in. So, OK, I'll complete that shelf. That's the top shelf. Now the bottom shelf will be down here. And at this stage, you don't have to be neat at all, because we're going to be painting it in a minute. This is just a rough guide for you. And I'm going to do the whole frame of the cupboard in like that. And then I'm going to do the frame of the two doors in. And don't forget, this is the inside of the door, so you would see the frame like this. There, like that, and one on the other side. And you can put in other little bits of detail later on, like hinges and the locks. And then it's just a rough guide. Now, listen, this is very important. This area here and this area needs to be painted black or a very dark colour, because this is the back of the cupboard, and you want to make it look as if your cupboard has got depth. Now to paint your cupboard using poster paint or acrylic paint. I've got some acrylic paint here. And you can paint your cupboard any colour you like. I'm going to paint it brown, because after all, it is a cupboard, and I'm going to give it a wood, wood finish or a wood colour, or should I say antique pine finish, as they say in the shops. There it is, just sloshing it on. You can do it a little bit more neatly than I am. And when you've done the frame, go over the whole of your cupboard. Do your doors as well. Don't forget to paint the whole of your doors in whatever colour you're using. And don't forget to do these bits in a dark colour. And when you've painted that, and it's all dry, and you've put in your detail, you'll have something that looks like this. Wait for it. Ta-da! Look at that. And you can see what I've done here. I've used different colour brown, just to give it a nice wood effect. And I've painted these two areas black. And you see how it makes it look as if the cupboard has got a lot of depth in it, and you can see right into the cupboard. And look at the detail I've put in here. This is just ordinary silver pen for the hinges and the latches. And I've even gone around all the detail with black permanent marker. And this is a good effect. You've seen me do this many times before. Watch this. Just some wispy lines and the brown paint and permanent marker, wispy lines and curls. And you get this sort of great wood grain effect like that. And then just pop your boxes back into position there and that one there, I think. And again, you can just organize these as you go and get them into the position that you want them in. I'm going to put my bottle up there, just about fit into my cupboard. Look at that. And put that there like that and that on there. And then you can, if you want, put some more, more boxes on top of these boxes. If I pop that one onto there like that, and then I just cut some boxes, the flat front of the boxes, and just slip them in the back, and it makes it look as if 
your shelves are really full and your cupboard is bursting with goodies. Again, I put another little box on top like that. When you're happy with the position of your boxes and cartons, just take a very strong glue, PVA glue or an all-purpose glue, and glue them into position. And then you can, if you want, paint on a layer of PVA glue, and it'll look terrible when you've first done it, but then it'll dry see-through, and it makes all the boxes nice and rigid. And then you can use it for storing anything you want. What about your paintbrushes? Or maybe even your rulers? your pencils, and of course your scissors, all bits of art material, knick-knacks, bits and pieces. And then um, if you've got any loose change lying around you don't want anyone to get hold of, you could always hide that in there as well. And there it is. Try it yourself. A rubbish cupboard. Hello, it's me again, the head. That's very effective, is that? A rubbish cupboard. And all you need is a cardboard box, paint, PVA glue, and lots of rubbish. Oh, one word of advice. Look out for suitable small containers and boxes before you make the cupboard. Otherwise, you'll end up with an empty cupboard. <laughs>